there's definitely a good case to be made in, in the fundamental analysis side of things for why there is a, a very strong bear thesis in the market. But yeah, no matter how sound and incredibly well put together your bear thesis is, you're in order to trade based on a, on a fundamental thesis like that, you're assuming that the market is rational. And we've seen mm -hmm. that it's not a very rational market, at least not in recent uh, memory. So, right. uh, you know, not like not to downplay the importance of fundamental analysis. It's absolutely a wonderful, wonderful way to uh, understand, you know, value propositions and potential like upsides. But we tend to bias our trading strategies uh, very heavily into technical analysis where. Yeah, which is which has worked out great for us because like. You know, of course, we don't. We stay away from earnings calls and stuff because yeah. then you can get a lot of uh, flow happening, which can affect, like, you know, basically the chart. Yeah. But in all other times, so ninety nine percent of the time, like, it's most of this trading is just automated. It's just like, you yeah. know, and that's the thing. So it's gonna follow the chart. Yeah, that's kind of automated. That's kind of like a, a case that I would make for my, uh, you know, the, the thesis of like why I prefer technical analysis over fundamental analysis. Mm -hmm. Fundamental analysis requires hours of research and, and a good fundamental understanding of the business and the product that you're researching. Uh, whereas and, and and I guess I would add not everybody has access to that. And yeah. whereas technical analysis requires only the data on the chart. Yeah, exactly. everybody who's trading, everybody, no matter if they're using fundamental or technical or whatever, like, you know, uh, or they're using a cards, bot or algo or whatever, yeah, or it doesn't a matter, ball, they're or seeing like, the chart. Yeah, or, or a, a cat that is has its own <laughs> YouTube channel, whatever they're using, yeah. they're all looking at the same information, which is the chart data. And so yeah. so I like to bias our strategy based on data that I know every strategy is built on, not just right. fundamental data. And that does, like you said, it has worked out pretty well. Yeah, and it's good examples are like, you know, bankrupt companies like yeah. pumping and dumping and like exactly. basically like squeezing. Like that's, we could we saw it on the chart coming, you know, like Carvana yeah. was a recent example. We played that really well and stuff like that. So there's no, like fundamentally, if you analyze those companies, those are really terrible crap companies. Yeah, it was like- why, There's no reason for it to like, you know, pump so hard, but that's the thing. It's because of, yeah. you know, 